little coffee and a little bit of a bite before I, I get inside. Fresh from Italy, this is a Miu Miu Love. Longest time, she sources the most incredible vintage pieces to me. Ally, baby. We have a few gorgeous pieces from Lou Dallas. The dolls are here. The dolls are here. I'm like pleasantly surprised. The lies, baby. The lies. <laughs> The purchase of I'm so proud that now I can go to work and have a cast of trans women who are fierce and gorgeous and I wanted to put in some pink I still can decide which color I want it. Hi and welcome back to Beer Dominique. First day of 2021 and I made my way into Barnes & Nobles because I wanted to start the year right as kitschy as it sounds I wanted to get a planner and so I found they're, they're not actually planners but they're really cute notebooks really really ornate and beautiful notebook and they come with this latch I still can't decide which color I want to get I want to get the gold this one is gold inlay and then this one is poetry in blue I don't know, let me know which which one do you guys like more, the golds or the green? And then my first, I think, book that I'm gonna get, Renoir. First book purchase of 2021 to get the inspiration going. <laughs> Starting the day early, 7.30, with another COVID test. I'm live um, in 20 degree weather. And it's freezing out, but it's very important to get a test before my shoots and yeah. We are heading on set for magazine shoot today. I just received an email from the stylist and they wanted me to bring something personal to kind of add depth to the shoot. And I have been wanting to shoot this ankle length stockings from Prada that I got a few maybe like two seasons ago and I just can't decide suede or patents obviously the patent looks really edgy but I feel like Prada would pick if I was mutual Prada I would pick suede hmm, what are your thoughts leave a comment down below Okay, so this is a wild card. <laughs> I also have this third option, which is just regular leather with a sliver of patent inspired by like menswear shoes. And I feel like this is actually the most Prada, but I don't know if this is too editorial. <laughs> These are the pieces that I personally picked as my personal favorites. Some of them I've emailed with the stylist that's going to be styling the shoot and she's already approved and she's already matched some of the looks. So this is the one that you previous, previously saw. These are my um, Prada nylon socks that I've had for a while and this I'm bringing also this pillbox hat. It's just a wool hat. I feel like it will be very me. Um, and then this Palomo Spain leather belt with this huge buckle in this rose gold. So very stunning, very in renaissance. And then we are also bringing my Marc Jacobs beret that I got when Heaven launched. It's kind of like a commemorative piece that I bought in the store. So that's coming with me on set because this is really special as well. Uncle Mark, gay aunt uncle, this is what I call him. Um, and then a few of my favorite Vivian Westwood earrings. This one I've already worn a couple times, but these are my heart. Oh, Vivian Westwood drip. They're just like heart hoops with a iconic and it focuses orb. And then my absolute favorite pearl drop earrings. So so stunning with the iconic orb. 
we're bringing this on set and then this came right on time it's actually really special because this is from one of my closest friends he has been my vintage dealer for the longest time he sources the most incredible vintage pieces for me and he's now decided to launch his own website just sent this over while i, I paid for this full price because we want to support small businesses and small queer businesses but this are vintage pierre cardon um earrings let's see if we'll focus and it's just so beautiful so they kind of cup your face and i think i'm gonna wear that on set he posted a photo around the time when we just heard of Pierre Cardin's passing and I just thought this would be an, a great commemorative piece to have in my collection to remember his work because he is an iconic figure in fashion that is one of the proprietors of blending commerce and art. I just really believe this piece is going to stand the test of time with the rest of my wardrobe. So. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you, Retrospectrum NYC. I have all the accessories. Um, she, the stylist told me to bring both shoes as an option. So I'm bringing the patent and the suede. I love that I'm getting to have a personal touch onto these photos. So excited to be taking you with me on my first magazine shoot of the year. Um, so I'm dressed like just super extremely cozy. I just want to be really cozy and I gotta start um, layering up because my car is almost here and I'll see you guys on set. Right, we are almost there. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get some coffee before I get it on set. But thank you so much, sir. Um, have a good day. Let's see if I can find a place to get coffee and a little bit of a bite before I, I get in set. Coffee and croissant is secured. I have carbs to hold me off for the next few hours. Normally we would have breakfast on set, but since because of COVID, um, we don't really do that anymore. So we make sure that we have sustenance before we get on set. But yeah, I'm gonna take a quick bite. And I'll see you all inside. So first thing that we're gonna be doing on set is we're gonna try on the looks to see if they fit. And this is gonna be the first look that I'm trying on. Fresh from Italy, this is a Miu Miu look with this crop top, little tanga, and a matching uh, jacket. So it's very like masculine feminine. And we'll pair it with my Prada socks that I bought and the pattern shoes. We're looking through some of the pieces now, wow. 80s, very 80s, another 80s look. Ooh, vinyl skirt, ruched and zip, cobalt blue. Wow. Okay, that's... Baby blue skirt. Oh wow, this looks like a white project skirt. Stunning. We have a few gorgeous pieces from Lou Dallas, a young new designer who has created some costumes for Euphoria. I actually like that first one. <gasps> the heart button. Okay, this is gonna make it very difficult to pick my looks. Oh, I love this Spanish matador with a Peter Pan collar. Okay, I might have found one of the best <laughs> looks. I'm happy I'm the first one shooting so I get to have first picks. This is Moschino Couture. Um, bolero in a dress. Wow. I mean, Kamsky is an understatement. Oh, this is stunning. 
Sexy's Barbie. We're starting with a little bit of hair. We're doing a, a pin set. That's right. Yeah. We're going old school. We're doing old school with the hair. I'm very excited. We're gonna leave it to set. Um, and then I'm going to get my makeup done. And then we're gonna take it out and it'll be perfect. Snatched. Um, setting, pinning the hair to give us the most glam, the most volume, volume the most dragged out hair. That's right. For 2021. <laughs> I'm so proud that now I can go to work and have a cast of trans women who are fierce and gorgeous and are getting my services which they deserve. Yes, that's that's an ally. That's how to be a great ally in 2021. That's right. Right there. Lend your services, that's whatever, right. lend your time to the people in the community. Yes. And this images, you know, so, like other younger LGBTQ kids are going to see this and they're going to get inspired. That's right. And they're going to know that our existence is normal in this world. It's normal and it's important and you matter. Exactly. You matter. Oh, thank you, Sam. <laughs> Love you. Very appropriate because we have Manhattan. Tyler, right, right there. Lars about to draw the lip. Do the thing. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button below. This is a lot more Pierre Cardin earrings, vintage from Retrospectrum. Hi, Kayla. Um, and then really big poofy hair, Kinsinera hair. And we're gonna tuck it so it looks like a bob. Yes. The lies, baby. The lies. <laughs> the lies. Did I lie? Okay, so Miss Chino Couture and a Black Lives Matter Crocs. Okay. We wear those crocs. So I, I, I made them myself. Extravaganza. <laughs> We're in a beautiful studio today. Great view. See the water, you see the buildings right there. We're getting the good natural lighting. 
Hi! Here with Cory, iconic Hi. queer New York legend. Yes. Wait. 6101. Wait, the iconic. Wait, don't look at Monday. Oh we're, we're getting this one together. We're just trying okay. some things on for now. But yeah. yeah. The dolls are here. The, the dolls, dolls are here. I'm like pleasantly surprised. All my babies are here. If yes. you have one um, advice, how do you become a queer ally? In 2021, a better queer ally in 2021. Sorry. By listening, just listening, listening, and That's opening up your purse. There you go. That part. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> All in a day's work. Wait, they're actually really good. Um, Oh my god, look how tiny this pants are. They're like micro hair pants. It's half a size of like a real hair pants in love. Never seen this. That's why the blacker than the Latina. You know, the pink pink That's why the little baby hair is gonna be the kitchen too. You got it? Wait, this is. I'm gonna call this mini pinches now. It's gonna be like everything on. Is there any requests on set? They want the mini pinches. <laughs> I need a flower bouquet of a mini pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the corner. It's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And, and um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.